Kyojhar is uniquely blessed in many ways. Its steens of people, local primitive tribes and varied culture gives this land its flavors, its coals, its jest and deep relations with forest. Rich, lush and varied natural habitats are their strengths and skeletal structure and shapes their mental landscape. We respect their feelings, thinking and works to sustaining their conservation landscapes in the future. It is well recognized fact that forest conservation is mankind's best defense against the perils of climate change. Every step taken to restore forests lead to ripple effect of benefits. Health of forest impacts everyone and holds 3 by 4 of Kyonjar's terrestrial biodiversity. Our goal of conservation efforts center upon bringing additional areas under protection and finding ways to encourage community participation in conservation efforts. Another attempt is taken to create a green wall to mitigate the erosion of river Kukurkata. Today is very, really, I am proud to say that this is a totally green initiative initiated by the JSW Utkal Steel Limited under the guidance of the DFO Conjure Forest Division. Basically, this is a pilot project which is being undertaken for translocation of 205 numbers of tall trees which are actually existing in the existing ROW alignment of the slurry pipeline project of the same JSW Steel Limited. A well-meaning approach by way of transplantation of 205 numbers of sal trees from the row of slurry pipeline project at Masanibila Reserve Forest will generate goodwill, prevent forest loss and will give a new light to future sustainable development initiatives. Apart from biodiversity values, sal trees revered as cultural icon of Kyonsha and choosing this representative species which can help in conserving the entire biodiversity of the landscape would be an important conservation strategy. The full impact and the importance of such project is that in the entire landscape where a forest exists, there are numerous young seedlings are there like this. So these young seedlings has to be established. What we do in a traditional way, we cut it because it is very easier to cut. Here we don't sacrifice these young trees and we gain 15 years. So we gain that age and we allow these young trees to grow in a safer area so that it will be a continuity to the existing forest and the biodiversity will be intact. So this, is, this project has immense uh, impact positively and it has all uh, welcome uh, stay for community. Our campaign is science-based. Selection of right species in right condition, right place and with right oversight for a healthy, thriving ecosystem. The four pillars of this project to document the potential growth of each tree for future conservation strategies, to investigate human impacts on the ecosystem, to develop practical approaches to prevent even a square inch of forest loss spreading positive messages by way of educating others about the importance of forest biodiversity. It is a new project in a way that generally the compensatory afforestation is done by planting the trees by the forest department. But as per the FCA condition, the user agency has to explore the maximum possibility of, of translocating the trees which are going to be fed. And it has been observed that translocation is more effective 
from the point of of uh, view of uh, restoration of the ecosystem from the point of view of biodiversity from the from the point of view of soil and moisture conservation uh, and it has been proved in baripada in uh, rorkela in uh, baliwada the attempts were made so i think in keonjar this is one such attempt done by jsw uh, to start with 205 trees are been transplanted uh, i think the after the success of uh, what i foresee in near future with this with this project other all other agencies will also have an example in front of them that it is it can be done and it is successful so i hope uh, and uh, i'm sure that all rest of the agencies in uh, kevinder in, in other part of odisha also uh, they will do more and more of the experience and uh, there will be less and less impact on the environment because of scaling up the trees for the critical infrastructure projects process followed for a successful transplantation careful selection of trees numbering of trees digging and root pruning burlapping or creating root ball root trimming root treatment with anti termite anti fungal and anti bacterial effects selection and preparation of a new site careful shifting replantation filling the pit with dugout soil and watering let us build back forests for nature